Okay, so I have the car jacked up right here on jack stand and I'm currently removing 10 millimeter plastic nuts from this cover. I have to take this cover down to expose fuel pumps and filter. So I'm gonna do that and then I will show you what's next. It's actually a pretty simple job to do. Okay, after three nuts are off, this can come down. The only thing is there's a there's this drain hose attached here, so you just have to be careful. Undo it or just kind of leave it to the side. I'll probably undo it. Yeah, you have to undo it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, here are the brand new parts. Brand new Bosch fuel pumps. Made in Czech Republic, brothers and sisters. And then this one, made in Bulgaria. Okay, cool. As long as it's not China. And then I got the genuine uh, mounts for the fuel pump assembly. I don't know if I'm gonna need them, but I just ordered them. Here's the part number. Cool. Look at this, I just started the car and I noticed the fuel leak. It's coming from this hose. Wow. This hose is actually in a bad shape. Yeah. That's crazy. I need to replace this hose. All right, a little bit of progress. Started undoing these pumps, about to take them out, replace everything, filter, and then reinstall it. And then I have to order this line, I guess, because it's bad. Wire is disconnected. So now when it's outside like this, I already loosened this, but when loosen these fittings, you gotta hold one fitting and then loosen the nut. Yeah, you don't want to do it the other way. Just make sure you leave everything in the same orientation. Just do slowly one by one. And these blue, this blue tape, you have to, you want to transfer it like I just did with that filter. It's a new part. And I don't think these pumps have ever been replaced. They got Mercedes sign on them, Bosch. I think they're still original. So we're doing a really amazing thing right now. Just bunch of preventative maintenance, installing new pumps and filter. There's one pump ready to go, I'm about to install the other one. Okay, so I just kind of started putting everything back together. When you put this bolt through, this bolt is just holding, it's like a bracket, it's holding this line, this hose right here that's uh, that I have to replace. But make sure when this bolt goes through, it's not rubbing against this hard line, okay? just start connecting everything slowly and uh, yeah these uh, mounts like these rubber mounts are actually in good shape so I'm just gonna soak them in silicone spray and reinstall them They're actually in good condition usually you see them all cracked up but this these ones are actually in good shape okay so the car is running I only installed two new pumps and fuel filter uh, this hose is gonna get replaced. It's just temporary. I'm just checking for other leaks But as you can see there are no other leaks. Everything is amazing. I'm just gonna have to replace this hose Okay, but Checking other leaks Anything Everything good up here yeah, We gotta make sure everything is good over there too So far, so good. It's only dripping from this hose right here. So this is where the fuel started leaking out of. Right here in this area, right there. That's just cracking. So I'm gonna get a new fuel hose. He's sleeping. He's taking a nap. Okay, so here's the setup. Okay, I've got this brand new hose right here. This is a heavy duty hose. So actually, I think it was like a $10 price per foot. Yep, and then if you bend it, it's actually, it's, it's not really getting kinked. 
uh, at all. So it's a very nice, heavy duty fuel injection hose. I got it from Napa. Okay, I'm gonna install it. Ended up cleaning this entire cover, looking pretty good now. And then this part, as you can see, is also the hose is gonna go on and the clamp. Okay, so the old one, you just literally slice this thing. So you can use like a grinding disc carefully, slice that and then it just comes off. Okay. Okay guys, so there's the hose that's starting right there. Everything's tightened up, the fitting clamp. Okay. And then, show you right here what's going on. So we got this hose, it goes into those plastics right there, the retainers, and then it comes around right here. And nothing is touching anywhere. Everything is good, everywhere's clearance. I put a little bit of silicone paste right here where it goes into those fittings, retainers. Then there's another clamp right here, and that's it. The fuel filter fitting right here is tightened up as well. So I'm about to start it up and check for leaks and we're basically done with this job. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and prime it a couple times. Okay, she's running. Check for leakage. So far, so good. No leaks. Everything is looking great. No leaks from anywhere. Super happy. I'm about to reinstall this cover. I'd like to actually put some fluid film right here. So I'm probably gonna get some fluid film because I ran out and then I'm gonna restall the cover. Okay, I had to fix that, uh, replace one of those washers up there. It was leaking, that middle one, but now it's all good. Car's running, no leaks. Everything is amazing, awesome, beautiful. All right, so unfortunately ran out of fluid film, but we got some grease right here everywhere. Not under rubber, obviously. Well, some right here, I'll clean that off. <laughs> but on the metal right there for preservation, good stuff. Everything's back.